Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel has ordered the military to move forward and allow women in most combat positions. Under the new plan, women could start training as Army Rangers by mid-2015 and as Navy SEALs a year later. The pressure on the military plan comes after the rise in sexual assaults in the armed forces. And joining us live now via phone with more on this, uh, Representative Tulsi Gabbard. And of course, this is an issue so close to your heart, so close to your history. Um, you have been fighting for this for some time. Good news, right? Aloha. It's great to be with you. This is absolutely uh, good news. I welcomed the initial announcement by the Secretary of Defense back in January. Pleased now to see that these plans and reports are continuing. Uh, look, this is, this is an area where women have been serving not only in the military but actually on the front lines for quite some time. If you look uh, after September 11th, nearly 300,000 women have deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. We've seen more than 130 women who have paid the ultimate price of giving their lives while serving in combat, and over 800 have been wounded. Clearly, we've seen the sacrifices that women in, uh, have been making in combat. Uh, this change now will allow them to have open doors, to vie on equal ground, on equal footing with their male counterparts, to serve in every position, and to vie for some of the top leadership positions that have since been closed off to women. You know, uh, Representative, there are so many strengths um, that can be brought uh, to the battlefield, to the units, by having a, a more diverse um, base within the military ranks. Let's talk a little bit more about that. I mean, you think about the way that it has an effect on our community. I would think it would have the same um, effect in, within the military ranks. That's absolutely right. And this is true not only of, of when we have our military units training uh, with readiness capabilities here at home, but also in the execution of their missions. Clearly, men and women bring uh, different assets, different skill sets that will enable the unit uh, to be strengthened and to be able to conduct their mission. Uh, we've seen it already with uh, some of these female engagement teams that have been deploying alongside special forces units all over Afghanistan and in the Middle East and have seen them uh, able to offer something unique to being able to communicate to Afghan women, for example, uh, and to really provide a different insight and a different perspective that before really wasn't there. Representative Tulsi Gabbard, uh, such a huge discussion that you have been uh, such a big part of. Thank you so much. I know there's so much more to talk about, and I know we're going to get a chance to talk to you again yes. sometime in the near future. So thank you so much for your time and your efforts. Mahalo. Good to talk to you. All right. Have a great day.